Hi, welcome. Today we're going to be showing you the fastest, easiest way to set up a website on AWS. Um, we're going to be setting up a custom domain and an SSL certificate, and we're also going to be configuring automated deployment. Um, and we're going to be using AWS Amplify to do this. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is to head over to the AWS Amplify console area. And if you've never been here before, you will see this screen. Today we're going to be using the deploy functionality. So go ahead and click get started um, under this section. It's going to ask us to provide the source code of the website that we want to deploy. So you can directly upload um, your code or you can integrate it with one of these Git providers. I'm going to use GitHub today and it's going to ask me to provide permissions or authorize AWS Amplify. Um, to pull from my repository and we're essentially setting up a mini pipeline here because later on we'll, you'll see that um, if you set it up like this anytime you make commits in the future you can set it up so that it automatically updates so once that's authorized it's going to ask me to select the repository as well as the branch that I wanted to pull from this is just a sample project so I, I only have one branch so I'm just going to select master So next, I'm going to just set up my app name here real quick. Um, and then this is where you specify any build configurations. So for example, if your project has a special file structure, this is where you want to indicate this so that Amplify knows exactly how to deploy your project. I'm just going to leave everything as is and move on. So next it's showing me a preview of all the settings that I put in. So everything looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and click save and deploy. So as you can see right now, it's provisioning. So we're just going to wait a couple minutes for this to finish and then we'll come back. It's actually pretty quick. So it only took one or two minutes um, for everything to turn green. So let's go ahead and check out our site. And there we have it. We have a live working website that we were able to deploy in just a few minutes. Um, if you look at that URL, you'll see it's uh, some unique URL that is provided for you. So the next thing we'll want to do is to add a custom domain. So over here, we can see a set of actions that we can do um, for our website. So we're going to click on add a custom domain with a free SSL certificate. And you can also get to this from the menu on the left hand side that says domain management. I'm going to click on add domain and type in the root of the domain that I want uh, to point my website to. Now, since I'm uh, pointing the root, I can just leave everything as is. I want the www.version to also point to my website, so I'm just going to leave this as is um, and just hit save. So since I'm using a domain that's managed by Route 53, there's not much to be done here because Amplify will take care of adding any of these DNS records to verify domain ownership. If you're managing your domain externally on something like GoDaddy, that's completely fine. You'll just need to add um, one or two DNS records. So for example, here it's showing this CNAME record that you can add to verify domain ownership. Um, so you just add that. I'm going to head over to Route 53 real quick so we can see what's going on. I'm going to refresh this. So as we can see, there's a couple extra records that got added um, because Amplify created them for us. So th these are the same records that you would manually create on your site if you were using external DNS. So heading back to our domain management, um, it's on the last step right now. This process can take quite a while uh, depending on how your DNS is set up. So um, I'm just going to leave this and come back once it's done. So after quite a while, it finally changed to this page and the status now says available. So I'm just going to go to this URL here. And as you can see, uh, our website is now loaded from our custom domain and um, it does have a, an SSL certificate from Amazon. Um, and so that's all good and working. So the next thing I wanted to show you guys is how easy it is if you wanted to update this website. So because we integrated it with Git, 
um, it's super easy to make a change. So um, if I have my uh, uh, that template here, so I'm just gonna modify it here to say updated. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and commit this change. So if commit. So I'm going to push this and okay. So it's pushing up to master, which is the branch that we have it set to. So I'm going to head back to my project area. And as you can see, it's back to this provisioning stage um, because we just made a new commit. And so it has to go through that process again of deploying our code. Um, if you look at this last commit, it is the message that we just committed. Um, and so I know that that's the commit that it's trying to deploy right now. Now, I just want to mention that if you didn't set up your project using Git, you could just um, re-upload your source code and overwrite what you had, and then it would also just uh, deploy that for you. So I'm just going to give this a couple minutes, and I'll be back when it's ready. Okay, so it took maybe two minutes, um, and now it's all green, so let's go check it out. So as you can see, um, the change that we just pushed up to our repository has already been deployed to our website and that's it that's uh, how quick and easy it is to set up your website and get it up and running um, in aws amplify and it's also really easy if you need to make any changes in the future you can just commit or re-upload your code and that'll get deployed automatically for you all right thanks for watching see you next time